And this famous story goes, he brought the car to inspection. They take it apart. One of the inspections is to see how much fuel is in the gas tank. Now he had already cheated with this before. He was famous for putting a basketball in a fuel tank. Say you could have 26 gallons. He'd make a 28 gallon tank, put a basketball in it. They would measure how much fluid came out and it would be 26 gallons. And then he would deflate the basketball, take it out and have an extra two gallons in there. A lot of rules in, in NASCAR. In fact, he claimed that half of the NASCAR rule book in the 70s was because of him. They're like, you have 10 or you have nine violations with your car and we gotta get those fixed. He screams, that's nonsense and gets in the car and he goes, make that 11. Fires the car up and drives away without a fuel tank in it. The truth behind that story, they never stipulated how big the fuel line could be. So the fuel line on Smokey's Chevelle was 11 feet long and two inches big and could hold in itself a couple gallons of fuel. 